Hey friends, this is a short and sweet power yoga class for when you're short on time, but you still want to fit in that fiery yoga practice. I'm Kate, and this is going to be a fun one. Let's get started. Let's get started standing at the top of our mat. So ground down through both feet, about hips distance apart. Raise the kneecaps up, feel how that engages the thighs. Bring the navel in, long through the spine, long through the neck, energy coming out of the crown of the head. Inhale both arms skyward, get tall. Look up towards the fingertips, one breath in. One breath out. One more time, one breath in. And on your exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Feel free to bend your knees a lot here. Inhale to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Put the weight in your heels. Inhale, roll all the way up. Make this sultry, make this feel good in your back. Breathe the arms up, get tall. Inhale and exhale forward fold <sighs> inhale to that half lift long spine exhale fold it in <sighs> plant both hands step back into a plank knit your hip bones up towards your ribs and inhale your right leg up on your exhale right knee to right elbow <sighs> inhale send it back Exhale, cross to the left elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale, cross, knee to nose. Gently step it through. Find your foundation and inhale both arms up. Crescent pose. Sink deep. Try to get a 90 degree angle with your front knee. Energy coming out of your fingertips so your arms are activated to navel in towards the spine. Circle the arms down in front of you, then behind you, softly launch into warrior three. Or airplane with your hands back behind you. Flex the foot for stability. Stay. Land so softly and open up into warrior two. Deep bend in your front knee, weight evenly distributed between your front and back foot, shoulders down the back. On your exhale, tip forward into extended angle. One long line of energy from your left big toe through your left side body and your left fingertips reaching towards the corner of the room. Spiral your chest open a little more. Beautiful, with one fell swoop, we're gonna come to Skandasana at the back of our mat, side lunge. Toes out, heels in, right leg is straight. Feel free to extend the right arm overhead. Beautiful, with one fluid movement, pivot over to a lunge at the front of your mat, plant both hands. Step it back to downward dog, the right leg lifts. And exhale through a one-legged chaturanga, nice and powerful. Inhale, up dog, shine the chest forward. Exhale, down dog, beautiful. Pedal it out for a moment here before we ripple it up into plank. Lift the left leg, exhale to left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to nose, really scrunch it in. And gently step it through. Inhale, both arms up, crescent pose. Sink deep in that front knee. Navel in. Easy with the face here. Swoop the arms slowly forward, then back behind you as you launch into warrior three. Nice, easy breaths, make them full. Slowly bend the left leg, touch back down. Peel open right away, warrior two. Deep bend in your front leg, shoulders down the spine. 
Gaze is easy. Beautiful. On your exhale, tip your left hand by your left toes or forearm on knee, extended side angle. Rotate your chest skyward. In one fluid movement, come through warrior two in Skandasana at the back of your mat. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight. Feel free to inhale your left arm up. Open through your chest. Inhale, relunge at the top of your mat, plant both hands, step back to downward dog, left leg rises. Exhale through your chaturanga, one leg. Inhale, up dog, peel it open. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna do it one more time each side, a little bit more pace. Inhale to a plank, right leg lifts. Touch the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale to left elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale to nose, scrunch it in. And step it through. Inhale, arms rise, crescent pose. Core on. Exhale. Airplane or warrior three. Balance posture. Slowly, slowly touch down. Open into warrior two, nice and strong. Unshakable here. On your exhale, tip forward, extended side angle. Nice side body stretch. Reverse it all the way to the back of the mat. Skandasana, nice deep side lunge. Maybe your right arm comes to the air. Replant the hands at the top of the mat in your low lunge, then step back, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale through your chaturanga with one leg. Inhale, peel it open, up dog. Exhale, down dog, beautiful. Inhale, roll it up to plank, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to nose, scrunch it in. And step it through. Solid foundation, core is on. Crescent pose, arms rise. Softly and gently. Warrior three, find your balance. Back leg lifts. Nice and sweetly touch down. Open into warrior two. Nice and strong. On your exhale, extended side angle. Right arm comes overhead by the ear. Side body stretch. Float to the back of the mat for Skandasana. On the right, option to lift your left arm into the sky. Open through the chest. Breathe over to a lunge at the top of your mat. Both hands plant. Step back into a three-legged dog. Left leg rises. Make this the strongest chaturanga yet. One leg. Exhale through your chaturanga. <sighs> Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. <sighs> Take a final breath in downward dog. You've done well. We're gonna wind down now. So bring both knees to the mat. Keep the hands where they are. Puppy pose, open through the chest. You can take your hands as wide as the mat here or narrow to intensify. Few breaths here, starting to regulate your breath. Slow it down. Beautiful. 
Walk your knees forward. Come down onto your back with control. Maybe we lower down for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Extend your left leg out long. Right knee into your chest. And we'll bring our right foot into our left elbow for reclined pigeon. You can use a strap here, or if this feels really intense, you can just come into a half happy baby. Calming down our breath now, relaxing the face, feeling supported by our mat, letting the full of our spine rest on the mat. Give it one more squeeze in and then switch it out. Right leg down, left leg up. And again, you can take reclined pigeon or you can come in a half happy baby wherever you are. Breathe deep and relax both shoulders onto the floor if possible. Relax the face. Maybe you let a little smile come into your lips, maybe into your eyes, at the fact that you took time for you today, that you let your body manage its energy, create warmth, move through challenging postures. That's something to be grateful for, our mobility and our strength. Release your left foot. Feel free to take a Shavasana here if you have extra time, or if not, and then I hope this quick and powerful class made you feel ready for your day or ready for whatever is coming up next. <sighs> You've done well. Namaste, sweet friends. If you liked this short and sweet power yoga class, there are tons more on my channel and I come out with classes every single week. So subscribe if you want to be yoga friends. We can deepen our practice on and off the mat together. See you soon.